Okay guys, welcome back. Today what we're doing is we're going to open this up. This is a Victor 6243 digital meter for measuring capacitance and inductance. So eBay, it was about uh, 30 bucks US, 40 bucks Canadian. And uh, we're going to see what we get. So I haven't opened it yet. My wife tried to open it because she was angry with me because she wanted to know what I bought. And luckily the uh, customs form only says 10 bucks, so eh. maybe that's what the uh, seller actually thinks it's worth. I don't know. Let's open it up, see what we get. Looks like the box got a little squished, but yeah. Came halfway around the world. So there's the box. So I guess Victor is a brand that's popular on uh, eBay and uh, Alibaba and whatnot. Bubble wrapped. It's actually, uh, it's heavier than I thought it would be already, so. It's rugged. It's actually uh, not much smaller than the MTP multimeter you see me using in my videos. About the same weight too, actually. And, let's see. Here is the instruction manual in its entirety. It has all the different accuracies, so 2 millihenry, 20 millihenry, 200 millihenry, plus or minus 2%, plus 5. Okay. Measure frequency, 1 kilohertz, and the through current, 150 micrometers. Okay. Sure. So, I've never owned a meter like this, I have nothing to check it against, so I'm just kind of buying this as a starter one, because I've been playing around with radios and some of these uh, other circuits, so I'm getting into inductors. And I figure checking capacitors out when you're fixing stuff can't hurt either, especially considering that uh, my capacitors don't always come from the best places, so it would be nice to double check. So on the bottom here, this is an adapter, obviously plugs into the terminals and it comes with these little probes look at this um, I have nicer probes than this I'm not really I'm not going to complain too much so just alligator clips go into the banana plug uh, yeah I have nicer ones I'm not too worried so there is nothing stopping you from putting the probes in from your other multimeter. That's a nice feature. And obviously, I'm going to say, no power, which I'm not surprised. So, let's look at that. So that's it. That's everything that was, uh, that's everything that was in the box. But actually, I'm so far impressed with the build quality. Oh, I'm going to have to take this cover off to swap out the battery or put one in, I guess. little stand. That's cute. I like it. Okay, I gotta get a screwdriver and I'd imagine a 9 volt battery. Okay, just a little fuse in there and a 9 volt battery clip. And I picked up ahead of time this ever ready 9 volt. I don't know why, but I really just like the picture of the cat jumping through the 9. I so I put the battery in, it's already off, auto power off. There's a backlight. Test whatever that does. Oh, that was the backlight. Okay, so this is a 105, so this is a one microfarad ceramic capacitor that I've just broken the lead off of. So we push and hold test. And there we go, 0.927 microfarad. Okay, I can live with that. That's not bad. This guy here is a 470 microfarad, 16 volt. So, unfortunately, we don't know anything about the ESR on these things. I don't know if you can just look up what it should be. I don't know. Anyway, uh, positive. So, we want to see 470 microfarad. So, we'll hook that up. Let's turn this to the two 
1000 microfarad range and we're going to hit test and hopefully we get about 470. 416, okay. So, how accurate should these things be? I don't know, the meter is probably not great. These capacitors are all over the place and they'll die over time. But you know what, that's, uh, that's close enough for me, I think. 25 volt, 10 microfarad. These are probably from DigiKey or something, I don't remember what the story is on those. So we'll take it to this 10 microfarad range and... Oh, eight, nine, nine. Okay, and it's supposed to be 10. So again, don't know if it's the meter or the caps. These caps are a couple of years old. So something's out by 10%. We don't really know what. So the convention on these has me a little bothered. I don't know if this is supposed to be 33 with three zeros at the end or what. But uh, let's plug it in and see. We want 33 something anyway. So it's probably supposed to be 33 micro Henry's. It's off by six. So I don't know if I'm in love with this. I, I wish I had a better meter to test this against. This one says 22. And 21. Yeah, okay. I'll bite. That's good enough. So, yeah, without knowing a whole lot about how these meters work or the quality or whatnot. I know that capacitors and inductors have quite a bit of varying uh, value on them to begin with. Do we want to take a look inside? Let's pop the cover. Huh. So the spring is connecting it to the shielding on the case. And a little bit of silk screening there. Boy, that's a lot of screws to take out. There we go. So, those are for your probes. They've stacked the boards. There's our selector. And all surface mount, except for these capacitors. Diodes, backlight, and some ICs. And now, let's see if we can put this back together. So that's kind of a clever way for them to build the board. So they've put some ICs up Put some ICs up here. Snap that back in. Okay guys, there you have it. There was a, qu a quick look at the Victor 6243 capacitance induct inductance multimeter. And uh, we tested a few things out. We saw some values that look like they're uh, pretty close to what they should be. So I'm going to say that for a novice, somebody playing around, this thing's probably pretty good. That's what I am, so I don't have anything to test it against. So I would say, uh, I think for, you know, your $30 price range, this thing's pretty much, uh, it's good value, felt solid. The insides don't look too complicated, but there was no big uh, 
surprises in there. So I'd say for the price, the build quality seems pretty good. And uh, yeah, we're seeing values we like. Without something to uh, check it against, I don't really, I can't really say much more than that. But it looks like we got our 30 bucks worth. So, all right, we'll catch you next time. Bye.